This is a, uh, it's in Kevin and the Blackbird. It's another little story, another little meditation. But I read it here and now because it's based on a sense of doing the right thing for the reward of doing the right thing. And I think that a literary publishing house which continues to hold those values is in that domain of uh, self-belief and faith and uh, chosen values opted for and stood by. Uh, publishing is to some extent still and to a great extent here, I think, a labor of love and uh, a matter of work for the right reason. And even if you aren't going to get any great monetary reward to keep going. This is called St. Kevin and the Blackbird. Uh, the river at the end is, in the words of the old popular song, the river of love. <laughs> uh, and some of you I know have heard me read this poem a thousand times, but it's, it's over a thousand years old, so it's worth reading. Or is it? No, it's not, but 800 years old. The story is 800 years old, maybe older than that even. St. Kevin and the Blackbird. And then there was St. Kevin and the Blackbird. The saint is kneeling, arms stretched out inside his cell, but the cell is narrow. So one turned up palm is out the window, stiff as a crossbeam, when a blackbird lands and lays in it and settles down to nest. Kevin feels the warm eggs, the small breast, the tucked neat head and claws, and finding himself linked into the network of eternal life, is moved to pity. Now he must hold his hand like a branch out in the sun and rain for weeks, until the young are hatched and fledged and flown. And since the whole thing's imagined anyhow, imagine being Kevin. Which is he? Self-forgetful or in agony all the time, from the neck on out down through his hurting forearms. Are his fingers sleeping? Does he still feel his knees? Or has the shut-eyed blank of under-earth crept up through him? Is there distance in his head? To labour, uh, sorry, alone and mirrored clear in love's deep river, to labour and not to seek reward, he prays. A prayer his body makes entirely, for he has forgotten self, forgotten bird, and on the river bank, forgotten the river's name. <laughs>